Hey everyone, Draco Magnus here for this year's annual Let's Play review. This year I won't be having a uh, AMV at the end because, for one, the program that I was trying or that I use to re-download the videos that I've uploaded, so I can make AMVs and stuff out of them, just decided to not work at a certain point. But now it works, and I, I couldn't get stuff together. However, I will be doing some announcements and maybe something else at the end of this. By the way, you might see me looking over a... See, this records mirror, so I can't exactly tell if I'm pointing in the right direction. Whatever. Okay, so over, like, this way, I guess, I have this little sheet of paper that I'm looking at for something I'm going to be going over. And you might see me look over this way, I guess, because that's, I'm recording on my laptop right now. That's also why I'm not wearing my glasses like I was last time, because it would reflect the screen and that would be awkward. Anywho, now, oh, and by the way, you might be wondering about the hat. I'm rambling, aren't I? Whatever. Let, let's talk about this hat first. This is my lucky gaming hat. This is the hat that I beat Sephiroth in, so now I just kind of wear it whenever. Uh, let me introduce you. Hat, pe miscellaneous people, subscribers, viewers, and such who are watching my videos. Miscellaneous people, viewers, subscribers, and such. Lucky Gaming Hat. I look very crazy now, don't I? Good, that was the intent. Anyway, so let's get with the reviews. Oh, you actually see it. See this? This is a tablet I got from my grandmother. Well, not a tablet, because some people would associate that a... Uh, Tablet is the electronic device. This is an actual tablet with words and stuff on it. I know. Retro, right? Anyway. Okay. So, first uh, Let's Play the Year was Pokemon Coliseum. I gotta say, I enjoyed doing it, but I pulled a lot of all-nighters to get that done because I had to obviously purify every single Shadow Pokemon to get Lu uh, almost said Lugia. Ho-Oh at the end. And I'm a little disappointed it didn't do that well, because uh, I looked at the amount of views I got, like, the least amount of views on a video was 10, the most 449, which sounds like, wow, that's a lot of views, how could that have been bad? Well, every other video wasn't at, like, in the hundreds. Most of them were, like, the teens, some were single-digit numbers. It was probably the worst Let's Play done of this particular year. I'm not saying that it's the worst one to watch. I'm saying that in terms of views, it isn't the best in views. Still, I think it's a good Let's Play. I, I definitely think if you haven't watched it and you like Pokemon, you should watch it. Uh, then I did Dragon Quest VIII. Dragon Quest VIII was kind of all over the board with views, with the least being 12, the most being 177. All in all, I really enjoyed doing Dragon Quest VIII, and I'm surprised it wasn't more popular. It's a, well, yeah, it's a retro game. I mean, not ridiculously retro like the NES, but still. And a lot of people like nostalgia. Uh, next on the list, Drakengard. I loved doing Drakengard, even though ending E was the most difficult thing I have ever done, and I do not ever want to play ending E ever, ever again for Drakengard. Like, never. Not gonna happen. Um, the least amount of views on a video was, uh, two, uh, not 200, I was gonna say 200, it was 25 views, with the most being 562, and I believe that was the very first episode. All in all, Dragon Guard went pretty well, I think. I mean, I didn't show all of the uh, free expeditions, but like most of the time it was just, hey, beat these guys in a different formation, so I didn't think it was technically necessary, but in retrospect now I probably should have shown them because they were, you know, weapons you got in there, and it would probably have been a good idea to show it anyway. Conduit 2. Uh... I liked it. Personally, I thought it went well, but it didn't get that many views. Least two, most 39 views. So, eh. And to be fair, the one that was two views was the most recent one I uploaded, which was a bonus episode where I was collecting collectibles. So I guess I can kind of see why it wouldn't be the most popular. Hmm. Oh, also, I still have one more bonus episode to upload for Conduit 2, don't I? 
probably get to that at some point. Hmm. Then was Warrior World. Warrior World, I thought, would do good. I thought a lot of people would like Warrior World, but uh, least views, 7, most views, 83. Overall, I guess it was pretty good. Uh, Psycho Waluigi. See, I think Psycho Waluigi suffered, because... I personally suck at platformers, and I, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. I'm not going to say, oh, well, the game sucked. I, I'm legit leg yeah, legitimately admitting that platformers are probably the worst game, or my worst game genre. Probably. I can think of a few off the top of my head that I'm not good at either, but Psycho Waluigi has probably suffered the most because I suck at platformers and I was bitching and moaning a lot of the time. The least views was 7 views, but the most was 92, but I think like uh, like Pokemon Coliseum, they were generally no, no, low numbers to begin with. Prototype. Oh, Prototype. Prototype had so much promise. It was a game where you could destroy things and cause so much destruction and chaos, but the story was just so bad. Like, in in the finale, I explained why I didn't like Prototype, so I'm not going to revisit that again. But, you know what? For my amusement and yours, I'm going to tell a random story in the way that Prototype is told. This story just comes off the top of my head, really. Hold on, let me get more comfortable. Oh, by the way, notice my shirt. I work out every day with a Wii remote. Anyway, back what I was going to say. So, this is the story told like prototype is told, but spoken to people. So, I went to the store today, and I noticed that one of my favorite cup of noodles thing, well, technically it's Marocon, but whatever. Not important. My favorite noodle soup thing, yakisoba, was on sale. Then, after this, m many, many hours after this, I met with it, the, uh, nah. I've already screwed this up, but I'm going to keep going. Ignore it. Ignore it. Okay. I met with Hake6 and told him this exact story that I am telling you right now at this very moment. And he asked me, how did that make you feel? And I told him, it made me feel good. And then we go back to the actual story. So anyway, the Yakisoba, I picked it up. And when I went to check out, I saw the Antique Gamer. And then... Hake 6 back in the future, way, way, way later than the moment in the story that we are currently at, asked me, oh, what did he say? So then I proceeded to tell him. And that is how Prototype tells its story. Who tells a story like this? Who, I ask you, who? But let's move on. Oh, also, the boss battles don't even get me started on those, but I'm going to start anyway. It wasn't even that they were difficult, the boss battles of Prototype. It was just they were so ridiculously roundabout that it took me hours to beat them. I really only died to them, like, five times the most, I think. And, oh my god, it was just so... Like, the battle with Elizabeth Green... Uh, I'm, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I, I need to continue. We're almost near the end. Uh, prototype, least amount of views, five. Most, 31. And it was pretty low. I think this series probably suffered due to the fact that I I level with you. I suck at this game, too, because the battle style is more about dodging and countering, and I'm more about taking the damage than beating the living tar out of my enemies. That's just how I roll in combat. Though, usually, I like to use magic as well. So, normally, I like to stay far away from the enemy and launch death at them. But... Alex Mercer, or more more accurately, Blackie. Blackie has no ranged attacks except for that stupid whip thing that does very little damage. He's like the worst person that I could possibly have played as because of the... I'm holding a pen. Because he is like so opposite of my combat style. So I'll admit I sucked at the game. Probably why the Let's Play suffered. And the game itself sucks. Just throwing that out there. Uh, next was Lone Survivor. I really, really liked Lone Survivor. I'm a little upset that it didn't do that well. Uh, least amount of views was 8, most 28, with, like, a pretty low margin of uh, views. And then with Majora's Mask, same thing. 
I, I thought this series would be more successful because it's a Legend of Zelda game one, and Majora's Mask is like one of the best. Though I guess it is kind of like a sandbox game, you know, a game that though very few people have played it, it's still a, like they love it. So I guess I could understand maybe that's why. At least amount of views, five views, most 28. And then to end off the year, we did uh, Lone Survivor the Director's Cut, which was a .5 Let's Play because it was just an updated version of Lone Survivor with a lot of new stuff, so I figured I'd make it its own Let's Play. Uh, least amount of views, seven, most 21. I, I, th I thought the Director's Cut was really, really good. Uh, really, I do. Oh, but before I continue on with anything else, because I have other stuff to mention... Um, I actually started, uh, Draco Magnus' random-ass Let's Plays in this year, didn't I? And I didn't really do much with it. Then again, it is, you know, the random things I do whenever I don't have anything to do, so... Maybe I'll do more of that eventually, just it won't be regularly updated, as you'd imagine. Um, the least amount of views on any of them was, uh, 9 views with the Stanley Parable demo. I guess I can understand why they didn't get many views, because it's a demo, I guess? Anyway, and the most uh, 66 views for Elf Bowling. Now, before I mention this other stuff that I have on my little list of things on my tablet, an actual tablet tablet, um, I looked back at year uh, some Let's Plays I did in year one, and they have a lot more views, like Bully, which is still my best Let's Play to date, the most views on one episode it has is over 6,000. And other Let's Plays that had a uh, small amount of views in the uh, first year, they have a lot more views. So I'm thinking it's really just a relative amount of time before these series from year two you, like get higher views. But I don't think this year was quite as successful as last year, which kind of bums me out. But hey, it gives me more room to improve. But now for the other things. First off, I made a uh, Draco Magnus Facebook page, and an annotation will show up somewhere around here. Probably already showed up, and I just look like an idiot now, but whatever. Whatever. Um, so please go to the Facebook page. Page? Please go to the Facebook page and like it. I will put stuff up there. I'm not exactly sure what to put. I'll probably put, like, unlike on in the YouTube videos, where I won't straight up admit, oh, I'm doing this Let's Play next. On uh, the Facebook account, I might put riddles and stuff, so you can figure out what I might do next. That's if I can remember. I'll also maybe put some fun little factoids I find on games that excite me, or thing other things that excite me, like the Oculus Rift, which is, oh my god, I cannot wait for the Oculus Rift to come out. Oh, um, I zoned out there for a second, excuse me. Mm. And I might put some other stuff too, like um, if I ever want to ask you guys about something, like do a poll or something, I'll do it on the Facebook page. And hey, you could also uh, like ask me to do certain games on the Facebook page too. Like a little go-between for us to communicate and stuff. But anyway, I'm rambling. Also, another thing that has me excited is... um. I got invited to join, like, I guess it's kind of like the company, like, Machinima and Polaris. It's called, uh, Zoom in TV Games. I looked at their channel. It looks interesting. Um, so maybe more about that in the future. Maybe I'll join up with them. So this is more of just letting me let you guys know, hey, so I might join a company later. Right now I'm not exactly ready to. Like, I need to think a little more on it. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh, let's see. So, covered views, the review. Told you about the new things. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. Let me... Just, sorry I keep doing this. I have it to slide down. I ramble a lot in this video, don't I? Should work on that. Anyway, so, I have a question for you. You. And I realize how much I look like Uncle Sam doing this, because the hat and the pointing. I, I, I need to get to the point here. Um, do you guys have any ideas to maybe make the... <sighs> Damn it, laptop. 
Why would you go into sleep mode now? Anyway, do you have any ideas to make the channel better? Maybe something I just should do more of, something I should do less of? Shorten intros, longer intros, concrete intro, like an intro that I constantly keep, or should I keep making like clips with random like songs that seem to fit with the game? Um, anything really. There are no stupid ideas or questions. Well, except for the ones that trolls provide. Like, I'm not doing Call of Duty. Ever. Just thought I'd let that out, share it with all of you. No Call of Duty. It doesn't fit my Let's Play genre at all. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, um, uh, update on that, uh, if you recall, I made an update video where I asked, um, I asked artists maybe if they could help me for, uh, bonus stories from a particular game I want to Let's Play later. Um, no artists have, uh, contacted me at all. To my knowledge because i constantly check my email and skype and my inbox on youtube and nothing so i was wondering if uh, anyone watching now is an artist um please please you can also contact me now through the facebook so yeah facebook um i feel like i'm forgetting something hmm give me a moment i'll i'll think of it or I won't, and we'll just end this soon. Uh, no, I think that's it. Alright, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play and the next uh, yearly review. See you guys then.